It would have been very difficult to do without John because he's always been, um, there's never been a demarcation dispute in terms of uh, what needs to be done around the house. John, believe it or not, the sort of bloke, if, if, he's, if the washing's on the line and it looks like it's going to rain, we'll think, oh, I better bring it in. Uh, he's great with the kids. He always did most of the cooking and my career never came second to his. So that was, I never had that struggle that I think many women have of even though a bloke, a husband might, or a partner might grudgingly do a few things, it's done grudgingly. Uh, and the career of the female is not taken as seriously. And to have to have that emotional battle and have a young family and have a, a, a husband who's not cooperative, I don't know how, how women cope with that. Uh, I also had the luxury, people used to say, oh, what's it like being married to another barrister? I thought, what's it like not being married to another barrister? Because you are so emotional at the end of the day, you need to debrief. We used to talk law all the time. Um, we debrief to each other and we understood what the other one was saying and it'd be interesting and that was incredibly important as well. Um, but the other thing was it was actually a bit useful having been the eldest of 12 because I was very comfortable and familiar with babies and little children. Um, and the other thing we did was we never worked in chambers. We always took our work home. I got really used to, uh, I always worked at the dining room table. The kids would be screeching around and... Um, you must have done wonders with your powers of concentration. <laughs> You just got good at it. You know, you just got good at it. Uh, and in fact, it was easier than when the kids were really little. You know, you'd come home, I'd pick them up for crash. It was like three hours of therapy. This dear little fat, beautiful pink baby and we'd play and all those things and she'd go to bed and have a sleep and it was a bit more difficult when Joey came along. But just having these divine babies, you know, it was just a wonderful thing when you came home. But was when they were at school, it was harder because then you've got school holidays and also schools these days love parents to be there. They'd have to be there 40 hours a week if they could. You know, and, and I would, you know, well, it was the great thing was about the bar is that you, you run your own hours. So I would take days out so I could go and do tuck shop or I could get to school early and if there was something special and I could work my way, work, I could fix my work around it pretty much unless there was a trial. Or, but it seemed to work out pretty well.